Hi, I am Faye, shamanic herbalist and Reiki master from FayeJohnston.com and the author of Plants That Speak, Souls That Sing. I'm talking to you from Scotland today, where I'm based, but I work with clients from all over the world to help people realign with their soul purpose and restore their sacred relationship with the earth. So welcome to this three-day Plants That Speak challenge, in which you're going to get hands-on experience of reconnecting with plant allies and the green world around you. It's designed to help you reconnect with nature and start opening to nature as a spiritual ally to support and guide you back to your true nature, the true nature of who you are. So as a shamanic herbalist, working with nature as a spiritual ally is one of my favorite ways to help clients get back on track and realign with the rhythm of the universe. Today, this type of connection is more relevant for us than ever before because so many of us live in urban environments and we spend so much time inside or in front of a screen and we're missing out on the support and the nourishment from the natural world that we need. And we don't just need it physically, but we need it emotionally and spiritually too. We're no longer in harmony with the seasons and cycles of nature. And I see so many clients suffering from overwhelm, from loneliness, depression, anxiety, stress, and feelings of separation. So what I found in my shamanic practice is that there is this rich and deep connection that happens when we slow down and we feel our way from our heart space to reconnect on a deeper level with the whispers of nature. It's from here in this space what, that we access our deep sense of knowing and our ancestral wisdom. And I'm not, so I'm not talking about making physical plant medicines, but I'm talking about the spirit of plants, their energy and their essence. I started my plant path originally so fascinated by plant medicine. I was wild harvesting, making lotions and potions, growing my vegetable garden, and I even went on to study a formal degree in herbal medicine because I had such a passion for plants. But it wasn't until I started running a flower and herb farm that the spirit of plants awakened in me, and I began to realize that there was so much power in the vital force of the plant in its essence. So literally, by being in their presence, and opening to them for guidance and assistance, we can benefit from their plant medicine. So I now really appreciate plants for the multidimensional beings that they are and all of the qualities that they provide us for us. So time and time again, I witness plants stepping forward to be allies for clients and providing exactly the medicine that the client most needs with the guidance that the client most needs to hear or to shift and heal and it's as if by hanging out with a tree or a plant, we're really able to realign with the truth of, of who we are and connect to those deeper parts of ourself, removing the blocks that prevent us from really shining our light and walking our true path here on earth. And I do this work because I feel so connected, held and supported by the earth. And I want everyone, I want you to feel that sense of love, support and connection. I want to bring you back into harmony not just with yourself and each other, but also with the heartbeat of the earth. Because when we start to reconnect to the landscape, the plants, the natural world, shifts happen, and we develop this sacred relationship with the natural world, our perception shifts, it become, we come from a place of love, respect, appreciation, and it's this space of gratitude when we treat the earth as this magnificent, wise teacher and powerful ally that our, our world begins to shift. It becomes more magical, full of creative potential. So that's the space that I want to be living in. And I want everyone to be living in on this beautiful planet. So I have created the three-day challenge and it's all about giving you a taste of how to connect. And these practices aim to get you back down to earth, get you grounded and have with a greater sense of connection to who you are and what you're all about and help you feel supported by the natural world that's around you, where you live and where you work. And I also want to really encourage you and inspire you to open up your intuition and to start trusting the wisdom which is inside of you. Because you are nature, we're all nature, and we have that capacity deep within us to understand the language of nature. So I wanna really encourage you to start trusting those initial hunches and gut reactions and those feelings or magical thoughts that you have when you pass a plant or when you meet a plant. And I want to show you how easy it is to start making these simple connections 
with the nature beings around you so that you can start bringing those practices into your everyday to really start benefiting from the power of the natural world. So make sure that you have signed up for the challenge. And I look forward to hearing about your experiences in the Plant Spirit People Facebook group. What we're going to be doing on day one is starting to open to the natural world, connecting to nature, the nature which is around you on a deeper level. So make sure you're signed up and you can get going with day one. See you there. Bye.